myself dr deepak kumar parida senior consultant department of neuroscience uh, care hospital bhuvaneswar stroke is two types that is ischemic and hemorrhagic most commonly ischemic strokes are there that is around 85% to 90% and hemorrhagic stroke that is 15 to 20% and neurosurgery in ischemic stroke in ischemic stroke there is a blockage of artery brain arteries small arteries occurs uh, there is may be massive ischemic stroke the mc territory massive infarct ischemic stroke occurs in small stroke there when there is blockage of arteries brain arteries capillaries uh, major artery like mc territory arteries we in, uh, go for neurointerventional procedure like clot retrieval and intraarterial intravenous through catheter micro catheter we thrombolyze the clot and uh, treat the ischemic strokes small strokes and in massive mc territory ischemic strokes with midline shift and gcs low gcs we go for decompressive craniotomy and neuroplasty uh, these are surgery in neurosurgery in ischemic stroke and in hemorrhagic stroke hemorrhagic stroke are two types one is intracerebral hemorrhage subdural hematoma and another is subarachnoid hemorrhage subarachnoid hemorrhage due to aneurysmal rupture avm rupture or cavernous um, avm like a vascular cavernous rupture may be occur there in hemorrhagic stroke like in case of intracerebral hematoma hemorrhagic stroke we go for craniotomy and evacuation of clot uh, or borol surgery with endoscopic evacuation of intracerebral hematoma and maybe in some time the massive hemorrhagic stroke we go for decompressive craniotomy and clot removal and in case of intraventricular hemorrhage we go for ebd borol surgery and ebd or end borol surgery with endoscopic removal of the intraventricular hematoma in case of intraventricular hemorrhagic stroke another another is subdural hematoma in case of subdural hematoma in case of acute subdural hematoma we that occurs due to hypertension we go for decompressive craniotomy in case of massive subdural hematoma with midline shift and low gcs and in case of chronic subdural or subacute subdural hematoma we go for borol borol surgery and evacuation of clot and in subarachnoid hemorrhage that is may occur due to aneurysmal rupture mvm rupture or any cause we go for aneurysmal clipping that is open surgical procedure go for craniotomy and aneurysm clipping and another procedure is neurointerventional procedure that we go for coiling or stent assisted coiling or balloon assisted coiling another procedure is flow divert we use these are the procedures neurosurgical intervention in case of hemorrhagic stroke